Hi everyone, this is Resilience checking in. I just wanted to reach out to everybody because um, we're all going through major changes that we've never seen in this lifetime. And um, many of us may be scared. I myself have to admit that I've had moments of doubt, but when I realized that everyone is facing the same thing all around the world, um, that we're not alone. There's a sense of comfort there. And so I wanted to do my best to share with you some tips on how to stay healthy and keep your loved ones safe during this coronavirus scare and pandemic. I uh, resilience and my alias Jessica Jane live with an elder um, who I help take care of and his name is John and he has respiratory issues and he's an elder and so he is very vulnerable to the coronavirus um, and because of that I began to do research so that I could be empowered to make sure that I stay safe and that John also stays safe and so what we know about the coronavirus, um, it can be transmitted through fluids, um, by sneezing, coughing. Um, according to the BBC, um, just coughing can produce up to 3,000 particles in the air. And they can spread about six feet from the person. Some of these particles can actually stay in the air while the others will fall to surfaces. The particles that stay in the air can actually stay in the air for up to three hours. And this is for um, similar coronaviruses um, like SARS and um, MERS. So with this being said, there's a lot of information out there. Basically, it's really, really important to do social isolation as much as possible. And if you do sneeze or cough, to sneeze and cough into your elbow. Um, do not just sneeze openly or sneeze into a tissue that you can then throw away and wash your hands. Washing your hands is essential um, with soap and water, warm water, for at least 20 seconds. It's really important to be thorough with cleaning. Um, what else can we do to help prevent the virus from spreading? Um, disinfecting our surfaces, making sure we're disinfecting all of our door, the entries of our doors, making sure that they're sterile. Um, I've been using um, Clorox wipes. I know that they're not available, but you, if you have bleach, if you have rubbing alcohol, um, to wipe down surfaces that are points of entry like handles and doorknobs. I was doing research and looking at um, uh, an article um, from the BBC website and one thing that really stood out to me um, was the question of how long does the coronavirus stay on surfaces and what was alarming to me was that it can stay on surfaces for nine days on things such as metal, glass, plastic, um, for as lo long as nine days. Nine days. But in colder climates, it can last up to 28 days. And so that means if any of us got sick and we were in our rooms, in our homes, um, and it's cold. It's been cold. I've been um, turning the heater on in the condo. Um, anywhere the particles have landed can stay alive up to 28 days in colder climates. Where, and so that means that the two-week quarantine notice um, for someone who is sick um, may not necessarily mean that their environment is then also good to go. Uh, we have to take serious measures when it comes to preventing the virus from spreading and being knowledgeable.
and if we do get sick, to make sure that we do not spread it um, to others who are more vulnerable. I'm going to share some tips um, as I think about them and as they come along with you and um, hopefully we can just come together and support one another and survive this global pandemic. Which Another thing that I want to point out, um, I was watching the World Health Organization make an announcement yesterday and there was this conception that children and younger people are e pretty much immune to the coronavirus. Um, I do not believe that that is accurate information. Um, according to the World Health Organization, children can experience and show mild cases of the coronavirus, and they have cases now where children have died. And so that also means that children are vulnerable. And honestly, I feel like we are all vulnerable. We are all interconnected on this planet. And so with information, not panic, but information and tools to be empowered is the way that we are going to overcome these challenging days and months ahead. Stay well and stay healthy. I love you. It's resilience. My name's John, Flame John. This is Delilah the Beast. She's a rotten cat and just no good for anything. Anyone wants her? Take her, please, please. <sighs> so this is um, a little hack station that I created for the point of entry. John needs to remember um, to take off his disposable gloves before he comes inside and he wears a mask so he doesn't touch his face. Um, I also have a mask that I'll be wearing as well, but John is no longer going outside anymore besides maybe walking around the block. Um, I will be the one doing all of the errands, but we have our only Purell and we have rubbing alcohol as a spray and we also have Clorox wipes and so the protocol is to disinfect your hands before you enter the condo and I do periodically um, clean all of the light switches, faucets, doorknobs, countertops, everything. But um, that's one of our hacks um, and it says John, mask, hang outside, blue side out, um, so that he has a place to hang his mask, and so will I.